Hey guys, my name's Joe. You're watching Jamily TV. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button down that way. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. So today, it's Mukbang Monday, right? We're gonna try and put together a mukbang for you from the market, because it seems like you guys really enjoy the kingdom eating some food from the market. So let's go check it out and see what we can find. There's all kinds of awesome stuff here in the market all the time. Usually a bunch of fruit and veg, just like you guys can see here, but we're gonna try and find, you know, something fun. We'll see what we find or who we find. So I couldn't find anybody to eat lunch with, so I'm just uh, gonna chill out here at the market and just grab some food. Why, thank you. Guys, look who I found to eat lunch with today. Hey guys, it's Adele here from the Fossil Pieces Sisters channel. How are you guys doing? So awesome that she was able to join us for the mukbang so that you guys could enjoy both channels here. Yes, so we've actually crashed into a few people as we came. Yeah, a lot um, of people. Surprisingly, they know us, oh my gosh. Coming from Australia, especially yourself coming from America, but you've been here for a while, so yeah. you're local. It's, it's a little bit crazy out here at the market today. Mm -hmm. There's a few flies we're trying to deal with, but there's so much food on this table. Um, and Adele says she can eat all of it, so. Everyone who knows me, look, I starved this whole morning so I could um, consume as much as I can. I I'm pretty sure I can probably like finish half of this. Oh, easy, easy. easy, easy. So you take care of all the barbecue <laughs> and all the fish and chips and all the fi I fit in, <laughs> and I'll eat the kalo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today, should we speak about what we have? Let's do it. We've got balusami. There's no meat in it. Straight leaves and coconut. Barbecue, yum. Looks like chicken, sausages, cucumber, potato, mayo. I think that's muli pipi. That's for you. I love muli pipi. That's for her. I will eat it. <laughs> okay, what else have we got? So A beautiful fish and chips. Mm-hmm. From the just seafood spot. So we're in Fungale. This food is from the market as well as from Justice Seafood as well as the Fia Fia barbecues. Mm -hmm. Lupe's Barbecue catering. Food. So you can grab this food from there. Looks really awesome. Finally, a plate of kalo. Yum. An entire breadfruit. That's actually my favorite. Do you, do you prefer this oh, yeah? or kalo? Kalo. I love kalo, but I would, if I had breadfruit, I'll eat that every day. So, I don't know, it's like a soft texture. Yeah, I think I, I like baked breadfruit better, uh, okay. but I like palifu kalo better than baked breadfruit. Uh, yep. But you go for this yes. anytime. Yeah, I would love that. It's like, to me, that's like, oh my gosh, it's a special occasion. Wow, why is that? Is that like a Samoan I, no, thing or is that like a. No, no, no. I think just you like it. I think it's just finding it in Australia is hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can find kalo in Australia? Yeah. It's like, it's, it's like neither North. of these is found in America. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, we've had it and you mm. can get it in like California, yep, yep. but getting it in Texas, not really possible. Oh. I literally did not know what this was. It, you've never had this before? I don't think so. So Adele is in for a little bit of a treat. So we tried this. Uh, I tried this in that video right there. Mm. Um, but this is Fai Ai Fit. What is in it? Octopus. What? what? <laughs> I've never tasted it in my life. Okay. So I think it's just octopus and um, coconut cream. Oh, okay. So it's a little darker because of the ink that's yeah. in there. Okay. Um, last time I ate it, the beak was also in there and it's not supposed to be, so. What do you mean by the beak? How an octopus eats is with like in the middle of those eight arms is an actual like bird beak okay. like um like if you were to have a bird a, a beak on a bird i don't know if i feel so if comfortable you find something right that's like really like like a shell okay uh don't chew it okay because you're not supposed to eat that thank you for telling me i would have been like it's crunchy <laughs> <laughs> it's really crunchy i tried to bite through it but it's like oh. it's like a nail okay like no, that yuck. kind of consistency it's hard okay we've got obviously have to the news has to um, happen. Oh, All right, let's start. Let's start. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, we forgot this last thing here. Falai oh, yeah. Elengi, the famous Falai Elengi. We skipped the Fai Ai Ia and went for the Fai Ai Elengi instead. So what do you usually start with? I start with anything. Oh, 
What is that called? Well, the seed. Yeah. I don't know, the seed. There's not a special name for it? My mom says that when you have it in there, it's good luck. What? No? You've never heard I, that? I've never heard. Sorry. When me and my family come to the table, there's zero talking. <laughs> <laughs> just eating. We're just like... My sister's watching right now, really jealous. <laughs> it's okay. Next year's our year. What are you starting with? I, I'm just starting with the Palisami. Uh -huh. It's just my favorite. Is it bad that I'm like eating everything together? Yum! Yep! There it is! Oh, this food tastes so good. The ulu is really nice. Yeah, it's just perfect. I'm gonna copy what you did. Yum! Five Crap. six. Oh, that's what all this is, is crap. Mm. That's the prawn. Do you not dip it in sauce? I didn't see the sauce. I will now dip it in sauce. But like usually, do you dip mm. it in sauce? Yeah. No. Because I think that Americans use sauce a lot more than most people do. You guys use sauce for everything and anything. Yeah. Are you a chili fan? Um, like just spicy stuff? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Especially in Oka. By the way, my auntie, she makes the best Oka and Pausami. We couldn't get it for me and Adele, but maybe next time. Yes, next time for sure. She puts peppers in hers. Those little Samoan peppers, have you had those before? No. What? What? Pepper. Tell me the ingredients. Of the Oka? Yeah. Just the normal stuff. I don't know. I've never seen her make it before. Okay. She, she has chili in it. She adds the chili. She has the cucumber, tomato, tuna, coconut cream, and she chills it. Oh, okay. She starts really early in the morning, like at five or six in the morning. It puts it in the fridge so that mm -hmm. when we get back home from church at like 11, mm -hmm. it's ready to go. So, so that might be part of it is that it's chilled. Preparation time. Yeah. Wow. And then also that the coconut cream kind of soaks into the tuna a little bit mm -hmm. more. So it makes it a little bit more juicy and tender. Oh my gosh, you're making me... Where does she live? What village? Batoia. Over by Vaivase. <laughs> Look at that reunion right there. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Look, sing some more. No, I can't. I'm a backup sister. I'm singing for my sisters. Molly pee pee. Yum. Oh, you tail. got into it. Yes. Mmm. Really sweet. All right. I think it's just too sweet. <laughs> I'm going after the drumstick. There we go. For a sec. Good. Yeah. Nice and tender, you're right. A little too sweet, maybe. A little too sweet. Someone went overboard with the sugar and the salt, and yeah. <laughs> but it tastes good. It's really tender and really delicious. Yeah, super tender, super juicy. And this one's Fia's Barbecue. For those of you that didn't know, my mom's name is Fia. I don't know if, I don't know if we've ever said that out loud. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, just like a typical someone name. It's actually Fia Faloma Le Manga Le Matatia. I feel like now generation, we're all, there's so many of us that are so happy to be like, proud to be Samoan. Yeah. So many people doing things around Samoan things. It's amazing. And I feel like there's so many Samoan vloggers I look up to, I watch every day. Gosh. Yeah, there's always some sort of entertainment that you can find mm. that's based on Samoan stuff mm. for people. And it's awesome. Whereas maybe, what, five years ago, yep. it was like nobody. Mm. So it's really cool. So. Aswelu and Kalani are magnificent people. I love their channel. Yeah. It's so real and exactly. It's fun. And I love his cooking channels. I'm like, we need that more. So who else do you watch besides yeah. Aswelu? CLC and Victoria. Everyone subscribe to them. Yep. Oh. We love them too. The funniest pranks ever. <laughs> we love them. Who else do you watch? Tux and Sarah, do you watch them? Oh, Tux and Sarah, yeah. We Went to the same church growing up as, oh, yeah. uh, as younger kids. Hey guys! Is that your cousin? <laughs> Everything we can find. <laughs> nope, not my cousin. Uh, uh, he was looking for a while. I didn't know. I thought he was. A, I'm like, hey, is your uncle? Is your cousin? Nope, don't know him. Uh, but yeah, I love their channel as well. My favorite video was when um, it was their dad's birthday and they gifted him oh, with that the car. Truck. Yeah, holy cow. And I was like, that's gold. The feels. The feels right there. I guess as a Samoan growing up, we it's instilled in us to look after our parents. And it's like one of our ultimate goals to like, yeah. you know, um, look after them, give back to what they did for us. But yeah, 
And I that was a that. nice truck too. Mm. What did you think of the crab stick? It was good. Just a crab stick? It was just just a crab stick. Sorry, yeah. I'm gonna grab one of that was too low. You want some pit bay? No, good. A fun fact, we all still live together. Oh yeah? How? So we've got like this massive two-story house and a granny flat at the back. So um, it's like all together like what, six rooms? They're not small, they're quite big. Every family has their own room. My parents actually have two rooms to themselves. So the granny flat at the back as well as inside, oh, just gotcha. in case they're sick of the kids screaming, they'll go outside to the granny flat. The only people who share rooms is me and my little sister, the, the youngest, which is 19. But I'm never home. I'm always like traveling on weekends right. or such. She's loving the, it. She's loving it. She's like, are you going again this weekend? Please. <laughs> No, but like, I've been to Samoa for what, one and a half weeks now, and she's like, messaged me saying she misses me. I'm like, oh, no. I was like, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not gonna fall for it. What do you want? <laughs> We're just so close and so comfortable being home. But I think that's our weakness. Coming out of our comfort zone is the worst. What is out of your comfort zone then? Out of my comfort zone, I think it would be moving overseas. Really? Yeah. What about moving here? Moving to Samoa, that's different. I've got family here. Lots of support. Mm. I can move out of my home, but in Melbourne. So it's reachable to my parents. I can't move like overseas now. That's out of New my Zealand. New no. Zealand, no. I'll probably cry. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. Wow. Oh! Oh, stupid. Are you sure? <laughs> here, let's do it together. I have no idea. I've never done it. I haven't. Oh wow. Yeah, you eat that. It smells like bubble sunny. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. It's just without the It's leaves. just the texture. Okay. And you said this is nice, yeah? I mean, I haven't had it a nice one yet, but this is only my second one. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. What do you think? Not bad. It's chewy. Mm. No more. Yeah. Mm. There's a little bit of sand and grit in my bite. None in yours. I feel like my one can't come down. It's still chewy. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's just like that one. Super smoky. Super smoky flavor. It just stays there and then disappears. Yeah. It's not like I'm gonna, it's not something you, I'm gonna run to to crave. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of gelatinous a little bit. Mm. Like you can't really break it down with your teeth. You can just keep on chewing it for a long time. Right? And then swallow it. Yeah, and then try and swallow it so you don't choke. But the taste, I like it. Mm. And it would probably be better with like some ulu or some kalo. Yeah, gosh, this food tastes so good. Stuff you can't find on a normal basis in Australia. Or America. You'd have to cook it. Yeah, much better with the ulu. Much better. I don't think I'll touch that again. How are you not getting all like messy? I'm like going through napkins like crazy over here. I don't know. Oh, probably because I eat like this. Mm. So you got two daughters. Four, four daughters? What? I'm going based off your Instagram. Oh. Is the older two like not there? No, so we have a baby who's two, a five-year-old, mm -hmm. a nine-year-old, and a 15-year-old. Oh, nice. The 15-year-old goes to Pesenga You're College. almost my dad hmm? in regards to having five girls. Oh. One more in Yeah. Here. My dad tried five times. He couldn't get a boy, so he gave up. My dad has a son. He had his first son, which is my stepbrother. I love him, Amos, and then married my mom and had us five girls. He tried to have some, but... Oh, how old's your brother then? He's 30. We went to his 30th last year, so he's 31 this year. And then my older sister is 27 this year. Mm. Yeah. It's been good to come back home, and because normally I always come with my family. This is the first time I haven't come with my family. I don't have any family here, just like mom's one brother here. Oh. Mm. How about yourself? You have family, a lot of family here? I have a little bit of family here mm. in Fatuya and mm. Vaivasi. Mm -hmm. But none of my grandparents' children live here. So none of like my direct aunts and uncles live mm -hmm. here. Oh, okay. Just like my grandpa's brother's kids. And do you stay in touch with them? A little bit. We go eat tonai with them on Sundays. Oh, nice. Yep. What church do you go to? The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints here. Oh, yes. Oh, this is 
I do wish that these were a little smaller bites than yeah. they are. Because when you chew it, it's hard to break down. Yeah. Gosh, look at that view. Is that just me or is it a volcano? <laughs> what is it? It's just, that's Mount Bio. So it's a cloud? Yeah. What? So at the top of that is where Robert Louis Stevenson is buried. Who? Who's that? The guy who wrote Treasure Island and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. No, I don't know any of this stuff. What? Yeah. How do you know he's buried up there? Because there's a hike up there to get to his gravesite. It's at the very top of Mount Bio. You haven't heard of the Robert Louis Stevenson Museum? No. So you go up to Vilema and it's right there on your right. It's a really beautiful place. If you get a chance, I mean, you don't have a chance this time, but... Yeah, but if I get a chance... But next time you come, you should definitely go check it out. That's history I do not know about. So he's a Scottish author who had tuberculosis, and he moved here because the temperate climate was supposed to help him. Yeah. This was in the 1890s? Yes, yes. And he died here. Tusitala Hotel mm -hmm. is named after him. Okay, was this time when? Half past nothing? Scottish. Scottish, so he just came here because for his sickness? Tuberculosis, yep. And then he ended up dying here? Yep. Why? I think he lived here maybe 10 years or something like that. So yeah, so he couldn't get the proper health care that he needed anywhere. Mm. And being here in Samoa didn't help him. I think it probably extended his life or something. Okay, and then was there a reason why he was buried on Mount Bayer? So he lives on the other side. Uh, Okay. And the Samoan people, I guess he was really, really kind to the Samoan people. And they listened to him. And they loved him. Wow. See, that's something I never knew. Something I learned today. I think I'm actually finished. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, our people are so talented. It's a wheel of festival. Everybody. Kids singing, kids dancing. One girl doing fire dance, one Moana. Then you see like a floral contest. Like, that yeah. was so cute. Like, it yeah. was amazing. People were versing each other on how best they can do their floral bouquets arrangements. And arrangements. Gosh, everyone's so talented. Did you see the wood carving? Yes, Leonu Le Le Moenga mm -hmm. Finance School. Yeah. Fun fact, on my year of Miss Samoa 2017, they actually designed my winning, it was wearable art. So they made me a- No way! Yeah, they made me a Manu Mea bird. Wow! You know that song? Yeah. Yeah, they played that song and they made me wings and I had to come out and they, they won. Their outfit won. We didn't try that. I said I was finished. Manu Mea. Manu Mea. Mmm! Yeah, good. Really good. Are you still finished? Yeah. My dad taught me and my sisters this one thing growing up. We were never allowed to eat more than when we're, when we're full, we're not allowed to finish a plate. So if I ate one side of the plate and I was full, he said that's enough. Wow. He was strict on us. We were not allowed to have snacks in our rooms. We were not allowed to eat snacks. Half, yeah, we weren't either. Time. We were more like, eat until you're tired. That's why I eat like I do. My mom and dad would have disagreements in the kitchen because she made muli pipi for dinner mm. and rice and stuff. My dad would be like, if you love your children, you would make them proper food. Vegetables and stuff? Yeah. I would hide my food in my bag, go in my room and eat chocolate. Yeah, my dad was really strict on us. He is till this day. We have to eat only until we're full and finish. And I guess it just became a habit once we all... Did you say your dad's there. a preacher? Yes, yes. And so is that part of it? I don't know. My dad became a preacher later. Oh, really? So that was just his normal habit. Huh. We're from the worship center. So we're based off AOG, Pentecostal church, born again Christians. So yeah, but I know the I Am a Child of God song. Mm -hmm. And Together Forever. How does that go again? Um, <clears throat> families can be together forever through heavenly Father's plan. I love the song, love is down me, love is not Say it, say it louder. Love is down me. Oh, I don't know that one. Oh, my cousin told me it. Hmm. Uh, is your cousin a member? The church? Yeah. Okay. So my dad's sister, her husband was a bishop. Mm. So my late auntie, she actually passed. I'm actually named after her. One of my cousins, uh, um, a returned missionary. She's an RM from my mum's side though. And she, time I'm there, she's always taking me to all the firesides. I love the music firesides. Oh my gosh, these talented people. It's such a shame we can't record in there, but I always do the voice record. Yeah. Yeah, voice record, so I'll just go home and sleep. <laughs> Amazing, talented people in the Mormon church. So do you sing in your church? Yes. 
I'm in choir, me and my sisters. Is the choir like a big part of every Sunday service? Yes. So it's all about worship and thanksgiving. I guess when it refers back to David in the Bible, how we would like dance mm. around the tambourine the hearts, and yeah. worship. It's a time of like, you know, giving thanks to God. That's what we do. Um, singing, thanksgiving. We go through welcoming the Holy Spirit. Every Saturday night we practice. Really? So it's like, goodbye Saturday nights. Really? Yeah, if I'm in Melbourne, my Saturday nights are all cancelled. Like, I have to be No there. way. I know. So how many people are in the choir? Seven of us. Is it men and women? Or yeah, just, okay. boys. But the boys are like playing instruments as well, but singing. But yeah, the seven singers and then probably five in the band in, in the instruments. And so do you learn new songs every week? Yes, I love singing. I love um, actually not singing solo. You know, growing up, I actually never was a solo. My sisters never gave it to me. But what? You're the second youngest, is that right? I'm the third youngest. The third youngest. The so you're the middle one. Yeah, yeah. But the older two would be like, no, we'll sing the solos. And then we all grew up. And then they started giving the solos to the to ones the after me. Yeah. And I'm like, hello. Wait, wait, it's my turn. I've been I waiting. Know. In church, you know what's funny when they sing solo? I sing too. Like, I'll sing over them. <laughs> I'm not joking. Everyone knows me for this. And they're like, everyone looks at us and they start laughing because me and my sisters, my sisters will look at me and be like, and I'll be like, it's a duet. <laughs> Brian McKnight and Mariah Carey, you're Brian McKnight. <laughs> no, but they're so like, it's so funny, but like, it's because they never give me a chance. So I guess I have more confidence now to stick up for myself. <laughs> do you sing, do you dance, do you? I don't dance. Play instruments? I will sing if I am needed to sing, but I don't like volunteer yeah. for it. Okay. I'm not good enough. My brothers are way better at singing than I am. How many brothers do you have? Three brothers. And sisters? Two sisters. A big family. Six of you? Yep. So my three brothers, all three of them are better singers than I am. Do they live here or in? Um, no, they're all in the States. In the States. So I have a sister who's having a baby today, by the way. So good luck, Faylin. Um, so I have my sister Faylin, who's having yep. a baby today. My sister Rena, who lives in Texas. I have another brother, Johnny, who lives in Texas. Yeah. He's like a six foot six giant of wow. a man. But you're a giant too. No, he's way bigger than me. He's like 350 pounds and played football and yeah, big guy. The third brother mm -hmm. is in Minnesota and the second brother's in Minnesota. So I'm the oldest. Minnesota. Minnesota's oh, up north by Canada. Okay. Ages range between 42 down to... Um, you're 42? Yeah. You look younger. Yes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's the secret? Uh, lots of Kahlo, I guess. But you said that there's no Kahlo in America. Stop. You're joking around with me now. Stop it. I picked up on what you've said in reference to our previous conversations. You're like, Kahlo. You said there's no Kahlo in America. You better stop. <laughs> We're trying to advertise it. Kahlo. Kahlo Sami and coconut. Like, it's so delicious. So delicious. Like, how much are you getting paid? <laughs> oh. <laughs> exactly that much dollars mm -hmm. so 42 and then my sister my youngest sister is um mm -hmm. 27. Mm. Oh. my second brother has the most kids i think he has eight kids maybe it's only seven your family wow. must be huge huge now. family you yeah you guys reunite once a year no we haven't been together in some time too long too long too long yeah and i don't know how you guys are able like the dynamic of all of these different people and like your in-laws live with you too right yes yeah. you have three sisters that are married or two three three and how many grandkids do your parents have the oldest two have two kids each one of them are pregnant so she's gonna have three soon and then one of them have only one child so pretty much yeah. okay but the funny thing is we hardly see each other and we all live under one roof i'm not even joking i work monday to friday yeah. come home to sleep which by the time i get home to sleep everyone's sleeping i attend meetings i go practice oh. Okay. I, I keep myself saying I have no kids, no partner, so it's like I just do my own thing. On an occasional day, I'll come home and then I'll see them. But on the weekends, I go interstate a lot. I'll go to Sydney, Brisbane to dance, okay. video, or just have a break. And to get out of choir practice for the weekend? Everyone says that they're like, you're just trying to get out of church. I'm like, no, I still go to church when I'm interstate or such. I don't know. I enjoy doing some more things, like getting involved in the community work, especially dancing, getting around, meeting other people, like vloggers and such. But So yeah. have you danced with Moe Moana then? Yes, yes. Yeah? Yes. Oh, cool. It's called Butterflies. I did a music video with her, a dancing collab, Contemporary Sip Summer. Did you work with the girl that she did a Fire Knife dancing video with? I think her name was Olivia? Oh, yes. Olivia Zebaka's daughter. Who's that? Uh, you know the girl that sings, Oh, yeah, yeah. She's Olivia. Oh, really? <laughs> See, in America, we don't know these things, and especially where I'm from. If you grow up in the central part of America to the eastern part, there's no Polynesians there. Basically, it's just Utah, Washington, Portland, Oregon, all of California. Wow. That's where all the Polynesian community is. I grew up in Minnesota and Florida, okay. and there's nobody there. 
Wow. No Polynesians really. Coming here, is it overwhelming? It wasn't overwhelming. It was definitely intimidating because you never know how people are going to treat you. Yeah, yeah. Because like you said, my, my Samoan, the Samoan words I say have a funny accent to it. Yeah, it's like an American accent. Yeah, I don't know how to like yeah, yeah. change that. No, obviously so, you can't change yourself. It was definitely intimidating coming here to Samoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But everyone has been incredible yeah. being yeah. here. Nice. And then the support, you get the same support yeah. from your YouTube channel. Yeah. Just Everyone's people nice. loving everything that you guys are putting yeah. out. Do very many local Samoans follow you guys? Like people that are here? I had a few young people coming up to me at the Tewila Festival yeah. last night. So some, the shopkeeper mentioned she follows our channel. The at one that we got at to Justice, see yeah. Not many people come up to me. Of the people that come up to us and say hi, which by the way, we love it when you come mm -hmm. up and say hi to us. Of all the people that come up to us, there's like never a local. I think we've had maybe two locals yeah. that we've met I had like that are here. Some locals here. last night, but not many. Yeah. No. It's rare because do you think they would be on their phones much? But that's the problem yeah, with Samoa. Yeah. Data is just so expensive. So in Australia, do you have data plans like we do here, or are you roaming? Are you in um, Australia right now? No, 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 no. I'm not roaming. I. I Every time I go overseas, I get the SIM. So I'm on Digicel at the moment. That's the way to do it. Digicel is the one you need to get when you get here. It's really easy. They have the best plans. Super easy to like convert and yep. understand what's going on so that you don't lose mm. all your data. The first few months yep. we were here, we were losing all of our data Wait, all the who time. who were you with? Blue were you Sky. Oh, Blue Sky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So tell me more about Sivalaia. Sivalaia started, it's not even been a year yet. So it means let's dance. It was basically a segment that branched off from Fast Fear Sisters. We needed content. This was a game that me and my sisters played growing up. My sisters would play any random song. They'll play rap music, two parts, Alicia Keys or Beyonce and I had to dance with the song to everyone. Oh really? Songs. Yeah. Okay. So I've always been according to the lyrics. We played that song growing up. I went through my Miss Samoa journey and then I started to dance and they're like, hey, why don't you just record it and put it like as segments and then I And so that's what you're trying to do now is Siva to any song. Any song. So but like last night. I made up this dance. It's the first time I've done it live. It was um it was still the one. Yeah. Yeah. This is a dance that I would do if I was about to get married and wanted to do a fat free fear for my my husband, Chris Waltz kind of vibe. Pretty cool. Yeah, we love watching your videos of the Siva it's, it's fun. It's fun. And you also involve like a lot of different people too. Yeah, it seems yeah. Like in one of them, um, Ben Neil Matsu that you, my cousin, yep. um, yeah, his daughters were in it as oh, well. Oh, really? In the Brisbane one I shot. Oh, but yeah. that's cool. I'll have to check that out. I didn't know that that was his daughters. That's yeah. cool. So yeah, it's just a fun thing I keep doing aside. It's like, so is this your job? No, I am a full-time banker. I'm behind a computer screen doing breaks and calculations most of my time so and then after that it's someone things someone things community and then Miss Samoa Victoria oh you still do Miss Samoa Victoria stuff yep committee I'm in the committee I help out with that events like arranging things as well outfits I told you makeup hair treasurer as well yeah that's my work there and just treasure things on the side as well busy 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 all right we're tired and full and it's raining I have to go pick up the kids mm -hmm. she's got Victoria Miss Vic Mc Miss Victoria Samuel, sorry, yeah. <laughs> She's got McDonald's things to do. She's so she got Macca's to go. <laughs> She's gonna go to Macca's. So catch her later. And we'll catch her. <laughs> We've got errands to run for Miss Samuel Victoria. He's gonna go pick up his daughter. So yeah, thank you so much for catching up with us. It was so exciting for you guys to get to know us a little bit more. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. That's all for me. Manuela Aso. Say lover. Ah. All right. So a little bit of a post log on my mukbang with Adele from the Fa'o Sophia sisters. My goodness, is that girl so kind and so sweet. Super lucky that I got to hang out with her today and have a mukbang with her. She insisted on paying for the food, which man, so blessed, so thankful. She obviously comes from a great family, excited to meet the sister someday. Her mom and dad sound amazing also, so hopefully we can see you guys in Samoa sometime. Thanks for allowing me to fangirl for a minute. Really appreciate it. Safe travels back. Manuela Aso, Lovaku. Also, a huge thank you to Justice Seafood for allowing us to sit at the tables in front of their space, take up two tables, really thankful for that, and also for letting us use the bowls and utensils. Really kind of you guys to do that. So make sure to go visit them at the Fungale Market to show your love and support great and kind people there it's awesome